Declare, this is my Bible. It is God revealing himself to me. In it, he shows me. He's the faithful covenant keeping God. Through my trust in his word. He includes me in his covenant. Therefore, I am who the covenant says I am. And I do what the covenant says to do. And I receive everything the covenant says is mine. I am a believer, not a doubter. I have eyes to see and ears to hear what the Spirit of God is delivering to the people of God. And I'm not only a hearer. I'm a doer. And God performs his word in my life just like he promised. Amen. Woo, thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Be it so according to what we declared. Hallelujah. All right. Well, this message today coming to you is can't succeed beyond your soul. This is coming right on the heels of uh, finishing off unprecedented manifestations. And the reason I bring that up is because, you know, there, you know there's always some kind of context. And, and we really just through answering questions that came out of that previous message. Uh, we're given the opportunity by the Holy Spirit. You, you were taught and instructed how to actually, step by step, renew your soul um, to possess your thinking so that you can be transformed. And so this is kind of springing from there, but maybe with a little different twist or angle. And um, that, that's just to fill in, fill in the gaps for you. See, a lot of people are struggling, trying to go back to normal. There's no such thing as going back. Back doesn't exist. It's in the past. The past is gone. Never to return. People say, oh, if you don't know your history, you're going to repeat it. Yeah, no, you'll repeat your same mistakes. You'll try to repeat what you did that maybe got you success in the past, but the past has sailed. So it will never work. You're going to be the what they mean by that. Oh, if you don't know your history, you're going to you're going to fail. That's what that means. And so that there's more truth about it. Um, there's no such thing as the past. It's gone. So I don't know what you're trying to go back to. And I say that because you need to understand that with Christian fellowship, um, we are fulfilling God's destiny for us. Amen. And that is ahead. That is not behind the plans God made for our glory. We just doing it, and there's no time. Thank you, Lord. Amen. By his grace, we're fulfilling them. You too. I mean, your, your plans are personal plans that he made for you are wrapped up in that. Yes. Glory to God. Yes, Say me too. Me too. So uh, this is what you need to understand moving forward. I told you months ago, a few months ago, you know, uh, I'm teaching on a whole different level. All you got to do is what you're always supposed to do. Stop saying, wow, wasn't that great? Pastor, get there. No, you're supposed to take this word and plant it in yourself. This is seed. These are your groceries. You don't, you don't take the groceries home and sit them there. <laughs> you don't put them away, organize it, get all cute and nice, and oh, I got groceries. You better put a meal together. You better plant the seed. That's your job. That's what you should be busy about. Not being a good churchgoer. See, the, the, the lines in the sand. That's the difference between all those. You, you can be saved, but there's a difference between people just happy going to church, being little good churchgoers, and disciples of Jesus Christ. And the rewards are different. The rewards go to the disciples. Oh, you, you could be saved, but that, that ain't what we're talking about. <laughs> amen. Come on, say amen to that. Amen. Look, look, you talk or I walk. That's a new thing. That's a, that's a new, that's a new, that's the, that's the new motto. It might be the new motto around here. I thought it was making, making life better. I thought it was together, God, you know, <laughs> building lives. Well, I, I, this might be it. No, you, you, know, you talk or I walk. I, I, 22 years, you, you talk or I walk. Praise the Lord. I got it. I don't need it. I already got this. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God only goes where he's appreciated. <laughs> Maybe that's why you're looking for him. <laughs> Appreciate him. That's where he goes. He says he seeks such that worship him. 
He seeks. You're looking for him. That's probably why you ain't finding him. Hallow okay, anyhow, here we go. So uh, 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 here's what you need to find, too. See, we teach around here. We don't just preach. It has to be line upon line. You know, preaching just gets you excited. But if you're left flat with no teaching, you got nothing to do and, and all your emotion gone. So this is all line upon line, precept upon precept. Here, little, there, little. God's building and adding in it. It culminates in something much larger, larger than his parts. So <clears throat> today, number one, God's kingdom. You got, it's nothing new, but you're going to have to hear what the Holy Spirit is bringing forward. God's kingdom comes from out, from within you. God's kingdom comes out from within a child of God. Who's a child of God? Whoever's born of God. Who's born of God? Those who faith and rely upon Jesus being the only begotten son of God. And they're putting their trust in him. Those are the children of God. Well, they're automatically delivered from the enemy's kingdom and, and translated into God's kingdom, the kingdom of his dear son. But you need to understand this then. God's kingdom, this doesn't, it doesn't fall out of the sky. It's not automatic. It's not going to pop up around you. God's kingdom comes out from inside you. Luke 17, 21, Jesus taught us that and, and emphasized it in many other places. The kingdom of God is not with eyes and ears, observation. Don't listen when people say here, there, low, whatever. No, Jesus said no, that it is. He didn't say it's coming. He says it is within you. Come on, you talk or I walk. Come on, you say, the king, say the kingdom of God's in me. The kingdom of God is in me. So stop looking for it. There it is. Now you want it. But see, the mistake you make is you look around you. And that's not where the kingdom is. The problem is you're using your five senses that have nothing to do with God. They feed your soul, as we learn, not your spirit. And God relates to you in spirit. And the kingdom's within you, not your body, not your soul. The problem is people look with their senses to try to verify something that doesn't register. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard. Faith is the proof of what cannot be seen or identified with the five senses. Yes. Faith comes from the spirit. That's you. Okay. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just reminding you of some things here. It's got, see, and I know you want it to, to manifest, to be outside you, but if it's going to be outside you, it has to come out from within. You got to do it. To an extent, we're going to find out what you got to do. I mean, God brings it to pass, but you have a significant role to play. Amen. See, what you need to understand is the kingdom of God is supernatural. I, I don't know if you know what that means. Or you get too, too comfortable and take for granted and familiar what that means. What does supernatural mean? What it says. Super natural what you see is what you hear is what you smell is what you taste is and what you hear is great that means it's pathetic compared to me that means it bows down to me. It serves me, not the other way. You're a new creation in Christ Jesus when you're born of God. Born of God. God's not natural. He made the nature. All of nature serves him, not the other way. And him making you a little lower than himself 
You are supernatural. That means more excellent, superior to, supernatural, superior to, superior to natural, supernatural. Okay, this kingdom, you're supernatural, this kingdom is supernatural. God is supernatural. We got it in aces. I mean, it's not a fight. It's not fair. It's not a contest. And that's what you have to never fail to understand. God's kingdom in you is not, therefore, supplied or contingent on any of your circumstances. Those are circumstances. If you look up that word, figure out what that word, etymology, you know, etymology is there. You got what, how, the, that has everything to do with your natural circumstance, circum, what's circling you, what's encasing, engulfing you. The kingdom of God is supernatural, and there's nothing the natural can do to prevent or limit it. There's nothing the kingdom in you needs from the natural. It's from another world. Going back to January, you are not of this world as a child of God. The kingdom of God is not of this world. <laughs> that's, why everything, that's why everything will bow to you. Everything bows to me. When you know and understand not know with your knower, your thinker, know with your spirit. That's truth. Everything bows to you. Everything's yours. God placed everything under your authority. Everything he made. <laughs> yeah, we might talk about that sometime. I mean, So how does it come out from within you, the kingdom? Well, let's be very clear on that. You have to give up your ways, specifically according to God, your stinking thinking, your insignificant thoughts. You have to give those up, fire yourself, deny yourself as Jesus said, to our faces when he was here in the natural. Why would you cling on to anything around here? You're given superior. Yes. So he says, you want to follow me? You can't do that with your senses. You can't do it through the natural. You got to leave that to be supernatural, yes. says the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So Isaiah 55, just, just you know, 55 verses 8 through 11. I'm, I'm, I'm giving these guys, I'm not, not going to read because then we'll be here. Okay. So, uh, but he tells you, you got to forsake your ways, your thought. He says forsake, let them, yours. Say, I have to forsake my ways and thoughts. That means bottom line, you have to refuse them to yourself. Why? Because God says, for my Thoughts and my, he starts out talking about what? His thoughts. And he says, my ways, they're not yours. But he's offering them to you. He's telling you, bottom line, this is, the, this is what you're supposed to live by. Forget yours, they were naturally born. He says, as the heaven is high above the earth. He's not talking about the blue sky, I believe. I, I, I think he's talking about what we just talked about. His domain, out of this world, out of this universe. As high as that is from the, the earth, the ground. So are his ways compared to ours and his thoughts compared to ours. And then he ties it to his, what he says, his words, what proceeds out of his mouth. He says, just like the rain and snow come down from heaven to the earth and make it bud make it produce make it flourish he says so shall my word be they will not return to me without accomplishing what i want says the lord and it's not or it's and 
prosper, succeeding in the ones to whom he sent it. He did not send his words to earth. He sent his words to you. Jesus said these words, they are life, they are spirit. They're not ground, they're not soul. They are spirit. John chapter 6. Amen. Okay, we're going somewhere. This, this should be review. Glory to God. So maybe put your eyes on Mark. Well, uh, if you want to. Mark chapter 4. Because Jesus then tells us this is the kingdom of God. And what are we talking about? The kingdom has to come out out from with in you it's not gonna fall out the sky it's not hocus pocus you can't sit there you're a participant you're a laborer together with god he called you in to his we didn't elicit him amen so in mark 4 huge chapter huge chapter jesus drops the revelation of revelations as far as understanding his teaching his doctrine he said the sower sows the seed. He's talking about himself. He sows the word. It means he makes it available to whosoever. That's right. But that word that he sows, the word of God, see, that's his word. The word of God that he sows, he scatters. Some falls on the wayside. That's where everybody tramples and walks over hard. That's why things don't grow in the wayside. Traffic kills it. What's popular, mm -mm. the world doesn't receive. Jesus said, the world doesn't receive my word, doesn't hear me talk, but you do. That's why it hates you. Then he tells me some of falls among stony ground. That's where some people are excited. They're still in their, their soul. They're still in their soul. They get happy. But then, then the, the, the word doesn't drop down on the inside. It just hits their soul. Clunk. It doesn't get in the spirit. And so as soon as some trouble comes up, they ditch, duck, dodge, and run. Because there's no root, there's no substance to them. Then he says others fall on thorns. Oh, it, it, it lands. It goes past the soul into the spirit. But these people have other agendas. These people have other agendas. They're worried about what's going on in the world. Ooh, you didn't hear. See, some of them are in here. You didn't, uh-huh. I, you talk or I walk. See, boom, right there. That's okay. That, 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 that. You just got touched by the Holy Spirit. There. <laughs> when you, when, when, uh, mm. you better get your head up out the world. The world's, world's going, <laughs> going to hell. Anyhow, he said they're deceived with the world, riches of the world, the, 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 the lust of other things, pride of life. But some falls on, goes through the soul, into the spirit. And it produces 30, 60, or 100. Everybody's not at the same place. Sure, it's good to be in the 100. But I remember the 30. I was excited about, just excited about the 30 because you've never seen it before. But I, I'm going to tell you, just because you, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Everything you touch prospers. Glory to God. I ain't waiting for nothing. Hallelujah. Um, so that's all preceding what I was going to mention in Matthew. That's why I said it's a big chapter. Because Jesus put all that together, and he says, you, how are you going to stand any of my teaching? You don't get this one. I'm a sower. The seed is the word of God. The world is the soil. I'm talking about the conditions of your heart. Okay, we'll put that with Isaiah 55. God's not sending his word to the ground. But like the rain and the snow he allows, it causes the ground to flourish. He's sending that word to soil, which is not ground, but your spirit, you. Not your mind. Yes. And when it hits, yes. just like rain, the soil, the spirit makes it come to pass. The seed and the soil do what they're programmed to do. You just got to get the rain, the snow. You just got to get the word down, God's word down to what? Your spirit. And the harvest comes out. Uh, that now we can talk about some automation. <laughs> read what Isaiah fifty-five says. Read what Jesus. He says no. Re -re -re what he says in verse uh, four, verse twenty-six, twenty-eight. He says it. the kingdom works like this. It's though a person, not the sower, the person that the sower sowed to. 
I gave, I'm giving you groceries. I'm f- furnishing you with seed. Don't sit there and say, that sure is a good message. That don't mean nothing. I know it's good. It's excellent. You can't find nothing like it. For you to go home, fine, put the groceries away, whatever, but you better get cooking. Take the seed. Look what Jesus said in Mark, Mark 4, 26. He said, it says a person takes the seed, the sower sows, and puts it in the ground. The sower don't put it in the ground. The sower provides the seed. It's up to the ground, so to speak, to determine if it's wayside, stony, thorned, or ready. Are you with me? So you're to be taking what you're being taught and daily meditating in it like like God said, meditating in it like he said. What does it say in Mark 4, 26, 28? You look at it later, that's what Jesus said. You take it, you plant it day and night. Day and night, you go to sleep and you rise, and the seed that you put in there, it springs. The soil makes it come forth. But you got to do what you are supposed to do. So we're making sure that's clear. I mean, it's nothing new, but, you know, I'm counting this line in the sand tide. I, I'm, I'm telling you, 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 you talk, I walk. I got this. I don't need to be here. This is for your health. This is for your well-being. This is for your prosperity. God told me don't cast pearls before swine. And so, hey, it's a checkup time. Because just being transparent with you, too, what's your friends? You should be, you should be thriving. And, 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 and that's not saying you're not succeeding. You're, you're having, some of you are having measures of success. God didn't talk about that. Everything. All the time. Because circumstances don't, they're irrelevant to this. And if you think circumstances are going to grow smaller, lesser, you're really in trouble. The greater the challenge, the greater the opposition determines the victory. So let's look at some. That's just all background because, you know, I just, uh, uh, yeah, it really, you'll you'll see it. Because I want you to look at 3 John 2. You got to get the kingdom out of you. And if you're not seeing the kingdom, it's because you're not letting it out of you. You're not bringing it forward. That's just the truth. Ain't got time to debate. That's the truth. That's what Jesus said. If you're not seeing your money flourishing, your soul flourishing, your body in health, you walking in righteousness and holiness, the peace of God, the joy of God, it's because you ain't getting it out. It's already in you. Get it out. God's not going to make you, and the devil can't stop you. You're to be laboring together with the Lord, not uselessly. So John, 3 John 2, if you're there, say, I got it. Ooh, here we go. Now we can start. That was all this background. There we go. Praise the Lord. Y'all in trouble because they didn't start my clock, so I'm just, you know, I'm still on 50. (laughs) That's right. I noted it. I know that. <laughs> it's all right, Will Wright. I know. You're not working, bro. I mean, I, I, I pre- just, just, just stay in your seat. Say it. Stay in your seat. Stay in your seat. Appreciate you, brother. You work, you work hard, brother. I know. You, 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 hey, man. It's, it's hard to take a day off, ain't it? Praise the Lord. Glory to God. You know how I feel. Glory to God. All right, come on. Focus up. Me and Brian know what's going on. You need to pay attention. 3 John 2. Word of God says, whoo! <clears throat> okay, I apologize. All right, hold on a second. Mm. Beloved, I pray above all things. <laughs> Look, first on the agenda. That you prosper and and 
be in hell just as even to the level that your soul prospers. Spirit, soul, and body all have to prosper at the same time, all the time, that's reigning and ruling in life, in the natural, supernaturally, in Christ Jesus, who fills you with all the fullness of himself on the inside. Ain't nothing short in you. Ain't nothing missing in you unless you're not with him. He's in you. He lives on the inside of you. And Bob, you see, you, you, there's no excuse for not thriving in every single aspect of your life. No one has a right to mandate you. Nothing. But you're not there unless God mandates you everything. See, he's the head. I'm the body. I, t- I, t- I am his to command. Not suge- Don't give me no suggestions, Lord. Your suggestion is my command. Because your way is the only way. It's the right way, and it always works. I have never proven you wrong. Oh, I've shown myself wrong plenty of times, but not God one time. So I just deny myself, fire myself. All I can prove is stuff I don't want proven. It's easy for you to say, Pastor. The doctor said. Uh-huh. It's easy for you to say, Pastor. You, 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 don't, you don't see the economy out here. Well, I, where do you think I live? What do you think is going on? I want to live where you think I live. I want to. <laughs> Stop being lazy. Stop being simple. And and excusing yourself to failure. Stop it. There's no reason for it. It can be just as easy yours as anybody else. God is not a respecter of person. So get up. Shake yourself. Get yourself up. This chronic condition is over today. Now, not later. I call things that be not in agreement with God as though they already are. Spirit, soul, and body. My mind is right and stable. Expanding and prospering in the Lord. Okay. I'm going to say it again. We all face the same temptation. Read the Bible. See, you're in your head again. You don't know what I'm going through. You don't know what I'm going through. Because truth be told, mine's bigger. But we are not. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. We could follow that up with first a whole bunch of verses. James chapter 1. Mm-mm. No, no. We're all in this thing. But why are some flourish? You're figuring out why some flourish. Why are you prospering, Pastor? If you, if you listen and you'd receive like groceries, you wouldn't just find out, you'd be living it too. God is not a respecter of person, age, gender, not, nothing. He don't care. I'm trying to read John 3. Okay. So here's the priority above everything else you may prosper and be in hell. You understand, Pastor? I had, see, you got you to stop. You got to stop. Uh, I had a surgery and they cut it out. Why? What does that mean to God? You're still in the natural. Like, you didn't grow by his growth to begin with. The doctor didn't put your parts together. You're not working with anything until body parts are regrown. Like that, in fr- amen. God's done it before, 
He said, you walk in these works too and greater because I go to the Father. The only thing stopping you is your head, your soul. But I'm, I'm, I'm ahead of myself. Because look at what it says. It, it, you prosper even as your, even as, just as, to the same level as your, the reason people aren't prospering, you, find, you, just, you just heard it. The soul is, and we, we just left off the last message about how to master it, control it, renew it. The soul is the mind, the consciousness. It is the will. It's where you choose. It is the intellect. It's where you can cogitate. Don't mean you're right, but you can cogitate. It's also your imagination. It's also your emotions, but it's your imagination as well. That's the supernatural. Your imagination. It's not meant to be used the way you use it. See, a natural person uses their imagination for fear. Fear is imagined. If I do that, they're gonna. They ain't. My best, they haven't. So that's your excuse? Something that doesn't exist? Because you're imagining it and you're scared? That's a perversion of your imagination. You perverted it. I ain't talking about the porn. I'm that right there. It's a perversion. Your imagination was given the other way. You could even begin to get in the game with God. God promised me that I should be in health above everything else. Well, legs, apologize for cutting you off. B, this taken out, that take, well, I didn't know then. I know now. Grow. Today, not tomorrow. Faith is now. Y'all been gimping along, isn't it? I know God's going to. No, God is not going to anything. God has already. We got that clearly over and over and over again. Oh, my goodness. So he just told you why you're not prospering. Because you can only prosper to the level. Look, look at 3 John 2. You can only prosper to the level of your But the kingdom's not in your soul. The perfected, over-the-top, superfluous, look that word up, ever-increasing and abounding kingdom, it's in you, not your head. But you can only taste it. You can only prosper according, just as, even as what? Your soul prosper. So spiritually, you can be here. But if your soul down here. You can only experience down here. All this equity, someone going to take. You'll never taste. You got to get your soul, your emotions, your will, your consciousness up to the kingdom. You don't have to bring your spirit up because the kingdom is there. It's within. You got to get your soul up. You don't prosper according to the kingdom of God. You don't prosper according to Jesus. You don't prosper according to God's abundance and the riches of glory through Christ Jesus. No, you prosper according to where your head is. Now you see, maybe, pun intended. That's why I got what I got. Because your soul's been telling you and you've been saying. Because your soul's been telling you and you've been thinking. And the soul's been telling you and you've been imagining. Your soul's been telling you and you've been choosing. Wrong. Not according to the kingdom that you already have. See, spirit you receives from God. That's where the kingdom came from, in you. But your soul has to agree. Your soul must agree. Come on now. It must agree. If your soul is not prospering, 
The man, that's why you're not seeing the manifestation. We, you've been locked and loaded with unprecedented manifestations. You're not seeing the manifestation because your soul's the hang up. If you're not seeing the manifestations, it's because your soul is the hang up. Because your soul should see by imagination what's there in the kingdom before it ever gets on your eyeballs or your ear gates. Uh, when you're really cooking this thing, but you're going to have to get your soul in agreement. <laughs> okay, thank you. I've, I've sown, I've tithed. Where's my harvest? Stuck in you. What you just said stuck you. Mugged you and took your prosperity. I prayed, where's my healing? Stuck you up again. You're not getting it yet. It's not a gimmick. It's not a trick. Your soul is not prospered if you're looking, hearing, tasting five senses to verify the kingdom, let alone your faith, it don't work like that. You killed it to you. Are you getting it? You're hearing. That's why you hear this word. You come in here under my anointing. You come in here and say, yes, but you go home with your soul. You hit that door right there with your soul. You get in the car with your soul. Yeah, but lying against God, lying against me, lying against the Holy Spirit, lying against the truth because your soul ain't right. Your soul's going to have to agree if you're ever going to have the life God planned for you. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with you. You ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing. There's nothing wrong with you. You're not hearing me. Everyone faces depression, temptation, trouble, persecution. None of us goes through here. Not without being touched by that, without having to plow past all that. Not one of us. That's your victory. People don't like to hear it, but the truth is they weak-minded. Just because you haven't prospered your soul doesn't mean you can't. Drugs ain't going to help you. That's just like blaming other people and blaming circumstances. Everybody draw, living on this rock just like you, everybody. Yeah, but they got more money than me. Yeah, and so they don't know who their true friends are. Anybody look at your pitiful face, you know they like you because you ain't got nothing. <laughs> you got money. You got to be suspicious of everybody. Everybody loves to spend other people's money. You're more blessed than you think. You better get blessed right where you are and knock it off. The kingdom's already in you. You're not broke. You're being soft. You're being weak. You're being rebellious. Stop. There ain't nothing wrong with you. Knock it off. It's not cute. It's not helping you. Just get in agreement with God and watch him bring it to pass. Who doesn't care? He called you. You didn't call him. Your past doesn't matter. He called you. You didn't call him. In fact, that's why he called you. (laughs) Where's my healing? Where's my peace? Where are my deliverance? In you? You already got it. Like seed stuck up on a shelf. Are you going to be talking about people? Look, I got peace. (laughs) Oh, that's most Christians. I got peace. But people are looking at you. (laughs) What are you talking about? What are you looking at? That's why you weird. And so you hear him say, oh, I'm weird. I'm, I'm holy. No, you're strange. You're talking. You, you see 
in the supernatural. And you're trying to talk about some, but they, they have to see it in the natural. Well, the super can't ever be stopped by the natural. But you're not putting together. You're not doing. You're not a laborer together with God. You're, you're a spectator. And nothing happens for spectators. You're in the game. Whoo. Think about it like this. So where, where's my prosperity? Stuck in your spirit. Because it can't get past your, you got it. It's stuck in here. It's stuck in your spirit, and it can't, it can't get out because it's stuck by your, come on, it's stuck by your, come on, you can talk, I won't. So what happens when you get the soul in agreement? Boom. Ain't no waiting. That's, that's, that's proof and evidence such a job your soul has caved, caved your head in with. Ain't hey, going to take time. Where do I see that in the Word? I don't see that in the Word. I'm, 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 I might as well get started standing for a year. Who said a what? Who? I don't, that's not scriptural. That's your head. That's your natural. And you won't keep you, you, all this stuff. Kill all this. Natural woman. Bet you are. Thinking that's a theme song and all this crap. The world has gone to hell. It's always been there. Natural woman, that's why you supernaturally mastered. <laughs> that's why you're in bondage to yourself. No satisfaction. Satisfa- that's all another song. That's why you can't get none. <laughs> I got it all. You can have it all. I can't say it for you. I can't testify. You'll tell you. I got Glory to God. I don't deserve it. I don't qualify. Want to compare p- past? We can do that too. <laughs> Think I'll beat most of y'all on that one too. <laughs> you don't know my past. Let's go. <laughs> Let's run it. Holy Spirit's got to remind me of some stuff. Cause thank you, <laughs> Jesus. I done. I'm so delivered, so free, so in peace. But I, but I did it somewhere back there. Well. The old, that dude, he did it. Just excuses. In the soul, just excuses. <laughs> okay, I got to go. This was a, okay, yeah. Yeah, you're a child of God, but, but your soul hasn't prospered. Your soul's got it all stuck. You don't know nothing about heartburn. You don't know nothing about heartburn. Acid reflux. The kingdom of God stuffed down, cut off by the soul. Supposed to be living out here. <laughs> you don't, okay, you don't know what I'm talking about. I told you, you don't know nothing about no, no heartburn. Doesn't my heart burn within me, they say? It's like fire shut up in my bones. It can't be held back. Well, you're doing a good job of it. And that's your misery. That really is the misery. Because you're not supposed to live without the kingdom of God. You're not supposed to live without the kingdom of God. Hebrews 11.1. I know that one. Watch what you say. Be quiet. Shut up. No, you thought it. You thunk it. You think it. When you know it, understand it, that's a spirit working with it. Faith is. It wasn't, and it's not going to be. Faith is the substance, the confidence is what that word can be translated into. The material, the, the, the substance God uses, rides on to bring what isn't manifested, come on, you, 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 this is your time of manifestations. What isn't manifested in the manifestation. What's used? Faith. Faith is the substance, the confidence of things. Hope in the Bible means hope, not what you think. Hope means anticipated, like you anticipate the bus. Otherwise, you the fool standing out there. Like mama and daddy anticipating the birth of the child. 
after nine months. Ain't nothing going to mm. Anticipation, expectation. That's what hope is. Well, yeah, I want that. Yeah, I'm expecting that. And it's got to come through faith. Faith is. But here's the kicker. And, and, and it is evidence, proof. Evidence and proof of the things your mind has no idea about. Your soul, your five senses can't register. Faith is the proof and evidence of it. It's to fill your soul from looking. I've sown. Where is it? Your soul. Cut it off. If you're in faith, I've sown. I got a harvest. Not I'm getting a harvest. I've sown. I've got seed in the ground. My grace is abounding. God's causing, is causing his grace to abound. I've got seed in the ground. God is multiplying my seed sown. I've got seed in the ground. I have returned the tithe to him. God is rebuking the devourer from my, Ain't no gonna, what, no. It's now. It's the evidence you choke your soul with. You make your soul agree. You better possess that slimy. Never turn your back on it. Unregenerated. Something in existence is not you. You better keep your foot on it and not let it go nowhere. Renew your mind. See, that's a different consciousness. Pastor, I prayed, but I still feel. No, no. See, you're supposed to have faith when you prayed, before you prayed. So you're really at square zero. You didn't even get going. You're not going back to square one. You didn't hit one yet. Because I'm getting ready to pray this right here. And God's performing. God is performing. I'm getting ready to pray right now, and God is is performing his word right now. Watch this. According to your word, which gives me the faith, my soul in agreement, I speak the word, be healed. The centurion said, thank you. Got it. Jesus said, did y'all pay attention to that? Because none of y'all got that. And he told you how his soul was trained. It's in the nasty natural. I'm a person under natural authority. And what I say goes, if you're the son of God, supernatural, man, it, uh, duh, under your authority, you just say your word. Jesus, pastor, will you come see me? Will you come? Physician, heal yourself. I can, I will, but what difference is it going to make if your soul ain't prospering? What you're asking for is a miracle, and you have no guarantee of a miracle. God can do it if he wants to, but you have no faith-given right. You're given no guarantee and covenant of miracle. That's when God chooses to do it, how he chooses to do it. Why do you need a miracle and he gave you all authority in the name of the covenant and power from on high by the Holy Spirit? You do it, Jesus says. The works that I do shall you do also and greater because I'm going to the Father. As the Father has sent me, now I'm sending y'all. Go take over. I don't need a miracle off that. Receive my healing by faith. Y'all missed that. <laughs> I, that's your guaranteed health yeah. and healing is by faith. That's why God didn't leave it up to a miracle. Right. Now, there are gifts of healing and working of miracles. Mm -hmm. But the children of God don't live by miracles and signs. Mm -hmm. God said that's a wickedness and adulterous generation doing that. Mm -hmm. We walk by his word, mm -hmm. by the kingdom that is mm -hmm. within, yeah. with the faith that is. And when we let it possess our soul, it's already in the ground. It's going to produce. It's going to come out from within you. You can't verify your faith with looking around. Glory to God. <laughs> All right, look at this. See, your job is you got to prosper your soul. You must prosper your soul to live the life God has for you. 
You have to, you must, you got to prosper your soul. That's what God told you. Renew your mind. You've got to prosper your soul to live the life God has for you. Why? Because you're going to prosper and be in health just to the exact level that your soul prospers. You got to prosper your soul. Glory to God. Oh, okay. You're flirting. Come on. You should. No. So you got to understand. Uh, Jesus has made you an offer you can't refuse. Mm -mm. You didn't get that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Come on, talk or I walk. Come on. You didn't get that. You didn't get that. What did I say? Jesus has made you. He ain't gonna. He has made you an offer and you can't refuse. If you refuse, that's how dumb your head is. Are you really going to go with a soul like that? Because it's an offer any rational being cannot refuse. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> what are you talking about, Pat? My, my soul was pra praise the Lord. Glory to God. Okay, look. Which examples? What examples? Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> Well, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it. I'll keep it to what Jesus said. Um, see, in Mark 10, verse 29 and 30, I don't know if you all remember that, that whole interaction with that dude. He was rich. He was rich because he followed the words of God. Comes to God, tell what do I got to do to get inherit eternal life? Jesus told him he lied to Jesus. So Jesus loved him, gave him his particular time, loved him, didn't curse him, loved him, looked inside him and and diagnosed him, not you, him, and said, one thing you lack, sir. Do this, you shall have treasure in heaven, and come follow me. He told him, sell all you have, give to the poor. You'll have treasure in heaven, and come follow me. With his soul, he missed the offer Jesus has made you, you're nuts to refuse, yeah. like this knucklehead. <laughs> He's so dumb. He was in love with stuff and things. So dumb. If he's in love with stuff and things, he's so dumb, Reggie. If you're so in love with stuff and things, or you miss getting a truckload more, <laughs> dummy, <laughs> you you miss. Becoming exponentially times more wealthy because your soul is dumb. And he went away mad, and it freaked out all the disciples. They said, <coughs> what was that? Oh, hey, he, he, rich man can't get in heaven. That's not what he said. He said it's hard. And they, because they're rich. Poor folks say, yes, right. That's why God don't deal with poor. God, God can't deal with poor because he make you rich. Your spirit, your, see the problem right here? Your spirit knows it's rich. Your spirit knows it's the richest one in the house. What about your soul, though? See, there, are chunk just like this guy. And they're all freaking out, and it's on 29 and 30. Jesus said, look, it is impossible for a person to leave. For my sake, and he listed, for my sake and the gospels and not receive now in this age a hundred fold return, insert list, minus, this I know God's as serious as serious can be because if you rerun the list, it's minus something conspicuous. Because he's a covenant-keeping God. And what's it minus? Spouses. Hey, that's abomination. You ain't getting multiple spouses. You can have a hundredfold fathers. You cannot have a hundredfold spouses. You can have a hundredfold kids. You cannot have. You unfaithful so-and-so. I dealt with David and Dan and Seth saw him all the mm -mm. That's why I know. Man didn't write that. God wrote that. He means this. 
He said, now in this time, you have a hundredfold, whatever you leave. I don't, that's why I don't need the list. Whatever you leave at his direction for his sake, you get a hundredfold now in this time and in the age to come, the world to come, the time to come. What? Come on, tell me. Eternal life. What makes you think you're going to make eternity and you don't obey him now? That will boggle my mind. What makes you think you're going to make eternity, but you're going to be broke and living on a budget now? Not receiving his abundant, his hundredfold. Because that means you're doing things your way, not his. If you, if you spend time meditating, that's what I got to get to. you meditating, Mark 10, verse 29 and 30. You, that's what you're going to end up with. He missed his greatest shot at wealth. And he had to tell Peter and them, because Peter said, oh, look, Lord, we've left all. Well, then you can get a hundredfold of all. Not a few things. Not the necessities. Jesus said all. Peter said, we've left all. So what are they going to get a hundredfold of, y'all? When are they going to get it? And that's why they're going to make eternity. So, look, I mean, here's one example. So, you know, I told you before, I, 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 don't, I don't need to be pastor. Shoot. In my mind, I was like, I don't know if I want that pay decrease. I don't understand. I, you, I'm, doing, I'm following. I'm doing what you're saying, Lord. You have to take care of me. So I, I'll, I'll leave this job. I'll, I'll leave this house. 7,000 square foot. Air conditioning. My pastor like it a whole lot. I'll leave this. I'll leave this ministry that has caused me to flourish my entire life in Christ. I'll leave the only pastor I've ever known. No. That's a stinking soul. When your mind's removed, I ain't leaving nothing. I'm not denying myself anything. I'm not. Firing myself from anything, I'm sowing this house. Now I got a better house. <laughs> I sold that job. I got a better job. Now I ain't waiting. I didn't lose that ministry. I sold that ministry. Brought into a whole new level with my pastor by the Holy Spirit. Glory to God. I ain't lost nothing. Because I didn't leave anything. I took God up on the offer he makes anyone who pay attention. Whatever you leave for my name's sake and the word of God, you're going to receive a hundredfold. Now. <laughs> Woo, glory to God. If you prosper your soul. That means you're seeing in, in your imagination, the only aspect of your soul worth anything to God. You're seeing with your imagination yourself with the fulfillment of God's, God's word, his promise. You see yourself. You imagine yourself. That's why when you open your eyes, there it is. Uh, okay, you missed a good place to shout. Praise the Lord. <laughs> We're talking about unprecedented manifestations. This is your time for the manifestations. Which means you have to prosper your soul. Which means you have to spend time. Uh, go, go to Psalm. I told you Psalm 1, right? Uh, go to Psalm. You got to spend time prospering your soul. You have to spend time. Invest time. You're not leaving it. You're sowing it. You got to invest time prospering your soul. You know how to renew it. Talked about that last minute, but now you got to prosper it. Mm, mm, mm. Glory to God. Your soul sure has no problem terrorizing you. See, the Holy Spirit just told me, yeah, you got you to start. I don't care if you live at the top of the four seasons and you just live there in the presidential suite. Okay, you don't understand what that is. You don't understand what that is. That's, that, that's more expensive than owning your own penthouse. It's more expensive than owning your own penthouse. 
you just throw your towels away. You boss the whole staff around. I ain't got a hot. Okay. I'm talking to you. Even if you live at the top of the four seasons, you live there in the presidential suite. You broke. You better look at everything around you. I guess I'll struggle along with this. Come on, so your soul's broke. I don't care where you live, how you're living. It doesn't even begin to compare to the kingdom of God in any stretch of anybody's highly motivated imagination. You've been terrorized of losing everything. You're so comfortable with that. I even bring that little suggestion to you like, mm. that's how y'all looked. But you're very convenient if I talk about the fear you're terrorized with. You're never going to mount to nothing. You are nothing. So you're okay with that. No, no, you're, 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 you're habitualized to that. You know, you know that? I'm trying to bump you because you got to prosper your soul. I'm, you got to fight, man. You got to you fight the good fight of faith. You're not trying. You do what he tells you to do with the weapons of his armor, his full armor, his weapons, his ability he gave you to fight. See, I told you the devil doesn't fight. A child of God who's in blood covenant with him. He runs in terror. You got to fight yourself. God delivered you from yourself. You have to take the ability he has to fight to fight your soul. Prosper that thing. Or tell it we're going to lose you. Better off without you. I might as well lose my mind. See, so you don't want, see, see, how much do you want it? So comfortable being terror, let it terrorize you. And I'm telling you, I don't care how well you're living, you're in shambles. Keep going. Keep trusting God. Keep following his lead. Keep living for God. You'll find out. You'll find out. I said you will find out. I ain't talking about unprecedented manifestations. Your father's talking to you about unprecedented manifestations. He didn't say you can't. He said a hundredfold now. You see, you, see, you, got, you got to prosper your soul and in the world. You got people, they're convinced you go broke here. You made heaven. You know, you'll be broke and go to hell. That's tragic. Can you find that in the scripture? See, your soul hasn't prospered. You're going with something in your imagination outside the word of God. Based on what you heard somebody else said. Who picked it out of there? The bot soul. I'm coming to you with the scripture. Like, well, know, who, who needs all that? If you're doing what God called you to do, you don't have what it takes to do it. You have to be supernatural. Super, the kingdom of God doesn't get its resources around here. It gets it from where it came from. Supernatural. Famine cannot stop. The supernatural abundance of God. It never has. The track record of God's people is you show up in the famine, ain't nobody got nothing, you get a hundredfold. See, see your soul right there? That's the truth. That's the demonstrated, repeated, true, unerring accuracy of God. Because he sent you there to get them away, get them their attention. Because what is about you? We, we got the same dirt, same air, like you think you're not in. Right, 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 right. And you got a hundredfold in this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glad you asked. It's my God. It's not me. It's not you. It's, it's my God. It's not your past. It's not your family. It's not that you're on the wrong side. It's my God. Get on the right side with him. He doesn't play favorites. He did it for me to show you. He didn't do it for me to thumb it in your nose. He did it in your face through me because I'm the only one around here believing him. Because I'm the only one in here who's prosper my soul. Because I'm the only one he's brought into covenant with him. Come on. Come on. What are you waiting for? You already know what's hanging out around out here. But I've been sitting around here in it with you. And I got a hundredfold. <laughs> Less effort. No fear, prosper your soul. See, religious folk don't prosper their souls. Oh, but you, but you do. But you do. You're getting this word. 
We're on a whole different level, y'all. Told you, I, I went up. You're gonna, so you take this word, and you're going to have to meditate it night and day, night and day, night and day. Joshua was told by God, never been this way before. In your entire existence, you had Moses leading you by me. It's your turn, boy, and that's what I want you to do. Do not allow this covenant to depart out of your mouth. You talk about it day and night, day and night. He says meditate in day and night means you say it to yourself over and over and over to observe to do everything it says and you shall make your way prosperous and you shall have good success God didn't say I'll prosper you he already did he said now you're gonna make your way prosperous prospering your soul in line with God has already done I wish there was somebody here listening to this. You got to prosper your soul. Okay, you've been doing it in reverse, listening to all the news over and over, listening to people talk about the news over and over. You talking about what people are talking about over and over. You're going in the wrong direction. God doesn't care about who's in office, where they're in office. He made the office. Your trust supposed to be, you got distracted. <laughs> so Psalms, I, I like Psalm 1. It's our first one. Precedent. He says, I'm not going to read verse 1, but you stop. You got to get yourself away from sin. You got to stop playing with the jokers. You read it. You ain't got time for that. You ain't prospering. I ain't got time to hang around with you. I don't care what that sounds like. I said it right. and you heard. If you're not prospering, I don't have time to hang around you. I did not say, if you're not debt free and have $10 million in the bank, I ain't got time for you. See, you don't know what you're talking. I said, if you're not prospering, I don't have time to hang out with you. You could be broke and be prospering. And I got all the time for you. Because you'll receive it. And God sent me to you, and you'll take it, and you'll plant seed, and you'll make meals instead of having groceries. And you ain't broke no more. And I ain't got to talk to you no more. We too busy. You talking to others. Prospering soul had nothing to do with the kingdom of God had nothing to do with a circumstance. Nothing. It can't stop. The circumstances can't stop the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God doesn't take a supply from them. They're a non-factor. It's supplied supernaturally. Supernaturally. So Psalm 1 says, this is your delight. When you See, this is how you know your, your soul getting good. This is your delight. This, this is your go-to. This is your hobby. This is your when you, when, when you, when you get a break or, or you make an excuse for a break. When you ditch people, this is what you do. This is your delight. You delight in the law, the word of the Lord. And in it you meditate day and night, day and night. You can read the result, you know, then you'll be like a tree. See, whether you know it or not, you, you're, you're a tree. You're in tree status. See, we'll talk maybe talk about it. You're a tree because you hear and others left. But see, you became like a tree, and you've been planted with waters that can't even be seen. When the when the rock when the, when the river bed go dry, see there's a whole nother river. Mm -hmm. That's why never never anything but green. Never scared of no heat. Any circumstances, circumstances don't matter. Leaf always green and everything producing fruit and everything they do, Pro everything they do prospers. Why? They're prosperous in the soul. They're meditating day and night. Your spirit doesn't meditate. Your spirit hears the word of God. That's it. That's it. That's it. Your, your spirit hears the word of God. I know that. The, your, your spirit hears the word of God. Yeah, that's, my, that's mine. That's it. There's no, that's it. Just like the spirit says, man, where the hell that's God? That ain't God. You better, you better blow that person out your life. That's a false teacher right there. You better get rid of that. No, spirit of God hears the word of God. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's where he came from. That's home. You don't meditate your spirit. Your spirit makes your soul. Look at it again, you slovenly little 
you, I'll, I'll kick you out. I'll kill you. I don't need you. You need me to live. I'm the spirit. I'm from God. I return to God. I don't know where you'd return to without me. The body go back to the earth. Where it came. I don't know what you're going to do, soul. We know where the, where the body came from. We know where the spirit came from. You better shut up. You twisting in the, in the breeze. You only came about because I came here. Now act right. And we prosper. We meditate in the word. This is what God says. That's what he means. That's it. It's fine. But you, gotta, you have to have it continually in your eyes, in your mouth, in your ears. Faith comes by hearing. You know it when it drops because glory, to, you'll just be shouting. You'll sit up in the bed. Woo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> Neighbors wonder what happened is this and that. Because your soul got right yeah. and prospered because it now, that's why it, you're more, woo-hoo. Why? Because it is now in what? Agreement with you. Agreement with you. And you're going to prosper just as, even as your, oh, I'm healed. Ooh, the joy of the Lord is my portion, my strength. No, it becomes, for lack of a the terrible term, it's weak, but it becomes real, for lack of a better thing. Because it's truth. Oh, my good. I don't know how you just said, okay, glory to God. <laughs> you, you, about to come, you about to start living. Because you prospered your soul. That's how you know it's, whew, you need no evidence from anything external. You deny contrary evidence from every other source. Because your soul is prospered. Why? I'm meditating that word day and night, day and night. Not my feelings. They hurt my feelings. Whatever you meditate in, you're going to have a hundredfold of. Mm-mm, you meditate in that day and night. Whatever you do shall prosper. Whatever you do, whatever you do shall prosper. Glory to God. That's the kingdom of God coming out from within you. Why? Because you prospered your soul to agree with you. I'm going to add one thing. Beginning this year, God also told you. Blessed in trouble. And and some of you trying to go through trouble at home and on on your own. You need to be here. Your spouse can't save you. Your family ain't helping you. Everybody's talking contrary. They're not meditating. You need to be among your true family of like precious faith. You're being seduced by the tactics of the enemy, which is laziness. You got out of the the discipline of showing up. Disciples do not forsake the assembling of themselves together. Go to Hebrews 10. I'm going to leave you with Hebrews 10. No, no, you got out of it, but you can get back into it. If you got out of it, you get back into it. The only reason you haven't, your soul, your stinking soul not prospering, prosper it. Children, parents, spouses, you're not to obey your parents or your children or anything contrary to the word of God. And God says we do not forsake the assembling of ourselves together. Now, as a spouse, I might tell my wife, we're not, we're not, that's not for us. Um, you know, we're, we're not smoking cigars and having a shot of Jack every, every Friday. That's a line with God's word. Right. Not going to tell her every Friday. Uh, we, we're going to have a party with others in the bed. Yeah, we're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're going to add some uh, participants. It don't matter if she agree or agree. No, 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 no. That's outside of God's wow. word. <laughs> so I don't care. What I tell her, if it's not in line with, the, she has no compulsion, no excuse to follow it. She might think, oh, that sounds nice some other people. Now we both going to hell. And two are better than, that's the point. We can't make it on our own. You, we can't make it on our own. 
told you back at this, 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 this New Year's message, New Year's message, still out, the New Year's message, you better be ready. We're, gonna, you know, we're blessed in trouble, but we got to stay connected. Because it's easy to conquer and divide. There's strength in. The warriors didn't come up with that. That is straight out the B-I-B-L-E. That's why they took it. ain't worldly that's from the scripture you got a whole bunch of team of believers there you need that need that ownership to get saved stay on track stay on track <laughs> stay on track they ain't they, they, lose, they losing their soul they need to be saved no we call them in in the name of jesus if that's not knowing what somebody's going through is not judgment if you know someone's going to hell they're going to hell i didn't say i'm sending you to hell that person right there going to hell we can't then sit there like oh that's our responsibility. Now we pray for no, we call them in to salvation, the knowledge of the truth filled with the Holy Spirit, all through faith in Jesus Christ alone. And then pray in the Spirit according to God. We've locked, people don't, discerning is not judgment. You better discern. That's what we're talking about. You got to be together. That behavior is ungodly, it's not going to serve you well. It's keeping you out of prospering because what's in your obviously what's if if what's in your soul everything we talked about today is not prospering because it's outside of God's covenant doesn't matter what it is for it to prosper you got to meditate in God's covenant and it sure is more powerful when we do it together because you you sure to slip and you need to remind you need someone straighten you up and remind you discerning around you Ooh, what were you thinking your soul did you in on that one right there. You're saved. Your soul just, just ditched you right there on that. You, you better prosper your soul in that right there. Amen. Amen. So I'll call you tomorrow and ask you what you think. You know, what's your soul? What are you get your soul on that. Amen. You're in Hebrews 10. Go to Hebrews 10 real quick. Just want just to leave you with this. We're a body. You can't be a body as a single member. Every member supplies. That's what keeps the body. You need me as much as I need you. There's no body with one. You can't be the body on your own. He's the head and we're the body. I'm with Jesus. Yeah, he's the head. And what are you? A knuckle? A nose? The head and, 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 and a foot? That's not a body. That looks pretty ugly. <laughs> Amen. No, it, it takes off. And we should have the same care as what Jesus, one for another. Why? Because you'll, you'll go sideways real quick. Accountability is for your, it's so good, that's why the world hates it. It is so good, it causes you to advance so quickly. Okay, I'm just going to leave you with Hebrews 10, uh, verse 23, 24, 25, they kind of go together. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope, our expectation, our faith without wavering. See, when you're standing in faith with somebody, what did you just say? They're going to check your words out. Yes. You better hold fast to what you're saying in line with the covenant. Amen. Because God is faithful who promised. We know you're not. That's not what we're talking about. You need to hold that prospering soul because God can't do anything but do it. Because you're prospering even as, just the level as your soul. So let us consider how to stimulate, provoke one another. Let's consider to provoke. You know what that word means, and it means exactly what you think it means. Provoke one another to what? You can't provoke anybody sitting over there. You know how you provoke folks? You get in their face. And you're to provoke them to action. You can't love separated. Not God's love. Not, 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 not the commandment here. You love one another as I have loved you. See, not like you love yourself. That's old covenant. That's why it don't work. You don't love yourself. So Jesus said, you're going to do this here. You're going to love one another as I have loved you. Didn't ask you about your sin. You shall love one another. Amen. Amen. You can't do that separated. Yeah, the enemy, I told you from the beginning, we're increasing all the way through. You have no idea. We taking on buildings. We, man, 
Berith Christian Fellowship is fulfilling its mandate by advancing, not trying to get back to something that doesn't exist. You hankering down at home, you sitting there at home. No, you better come on, advance with us. In the prosperity of God, there's no sickness around here in the name of Jesus. Put five masks on. No one's talking about you here. It's your option. Put a hazmat suit on. I don't care. You got to be about God's word. You got to prosper your soul so he can prosper you. Because he made plans for you. There been no COVID here. There ain't going to be no COVID here. I know it's been to your house. You haven't been here. You're proof. How did that work for you? And I'm not getting at you. I'm pointing the truth out. I know it stings when your soul ain't renewed. But you can renew that soul and get up and prosper and advance. Haven't you noticed staying there? Your life is shrunken. That's all I'm going to say. It's all I'm going to say. I ain't against nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm calling for you. This is deliverance. Provoke one. I wouldn't. I'm provoking you to love. I'm not dogging you out. Oh, we left you in the dust. No, come on. You're about to get left in the We ain't leaving you. We just we move. Come on. Consider one another, stimulate one to provoke one another to love and good deeds, not forsaking. See, it's together. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves. God ain't gathering us. Look at God's not gathering us. It's not the rapture. It's not some other getting together. It's we when we say we're getting together. We're not forsaking when we say we're getting together. We're not forsaking when we say we're getting together. We're not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as a whole lot of others are. Trying to do this thing on their terms. We can't do God on our terms. Nor do we want to. See, that's not prospering your soul. Prospering your soul is doing it on God's terms, and he brings it to pass. Father, thank you and praise you for the word. Right on time, word. I declare we are now succeeding according to our soul, renewed to your covenant, no longer hung up. Yeah, we are prospering to the level of our renewed, regenerated souls with the power of the Holy Spirit. It all started with you causing us to be born again. We give you praise and glory for the sowing of your word in complete accuracy with your anointing. Thank you. You do not allow us to be the same. Leave us the same. Leave us as you found us. Leave us as you called us. You're calling us on. You're calling us forward. You're calling us to advance. And we can do all things through your anointing, through Christ who strengthens us. We can, so we choose to, and we say, we do. We do. We do. We do everything with thanksgiving, giving you praise and honor for obeying you because we can't do it on our own. Thank you for re residing in us, the greater one living on the inside. Therefore, the peace of God reigns here. The wholeness, the soundness of God reigns here, and we reign in life through and by one Christ Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for shedding the life of God once and for all, for all of us to receive. We are saved. We are redeemed. We are delivered. We are adopted. We're made new creations. We are made heirs of the eternal kingdom of God. It belongs to us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Satan, you're far beneath our feet. Stay there. We master and lord our victory over you in the name of Jesus commanding you take your hands off and release what you've attempted to take from us. We demand restitution along with it. Damage is paid in the name of Jesus above every name that is ever named. And also in that name at which every knee bows and every tongue confesses he's Lord, we cause you to destroy and loose your plans against us, rendering them powerless, null, and void. You are not an issue. Again, you are far beneath our feet. We reign in life now through Christ Jesus. And everyone who's in agreement with this prayer in Jesus' name, say amen.